Scorpio. I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, November 27th to Monday, December 4th, 2017. Now, what's going on for you, Scorpio, has a lot to do right here where Mercury and Saturn is in your second house of money. Uh, and of confidence and of your gifts and skills and talents. I think you're making some big decisions here, having some real serious conversations about your finances, about your income, about your money, and about what you need to do here to be more confident in life and use more of your unique gifts, skills, and talents coming in. I don't think this is a new thing because Mercury and Saturn was doing this last week. Saturn as well has also been in this spot for quite some time. So I think you've been thinking a lot about your money for a while, but I think you're just now starting to make some decisions here, lay down the law, and and figure some things out when it comes to your money, your finances, and your gifts and skills and talents, okay? I think while you're thinking a lot about your money and trying to figure some of that stuff out and what you need in your life to bring in more of that stability, you're also thinking a lot here where Jupiter is in your first house about yourself, about what's important to you, about what's going to give you the best identity, put your life in the place that you want it to be in in some way and just work out for you um, all around in some way. I think a lot of what's going on there with that also has to do right here where Neptune is because Jupiter is going to be in a trine with Neptune this week in your fifth house of happiness. <laughs> So I think as you're making some decisions about money, trying to figure some things out in regards to your income and your gifts and skills and talents, you're also trying to think about how you can do something that makes you happy, how you can do something that it is that you enjoy in some way. Fifth house also rules romantic relationships and kids if you have any as well. Uh, and passion projects. So I think also trying to figure out here how you can um, get money or get income from or do something using all of your gifts and skills and talents that you really enjoy and that's really important to you in some way. Now I think that could be a little bit difficult trying to figure that out. Of course with Venus here being in Scorpio where it does not like to be, especially with Venus as well in a trine over to Chiron in your fifth house of happiness. So I think you know that you want to do more of what you enjoy. You want to do more of what makes you happy in life in some way, but maybe feeling uncomfortable as you go about changing your identity, expanding your identity to include new things in some way and be happy, uh, especially as you go about figuring out some financial situations and building more stability into your life. Okay, now the thing here with Venus and Chiron is to not get scared if it's harder and comfortable, especially with relationships. Relationships can be a little difficult with Venus being in Scorpio. Again, money as well can be a little difficult with Venus being in Scorpio. And I think you need to realize, even if it is hard, that anything you do to try to bring more of that happiness back into your life to work better with romantic uh, relationships or with kids in some way is really going to help you to move forward, to build that stability into your life, to get more of the income that it is that you need and to, uh, to move forward using more of the things that it is that you can offer people in the world, all right? Um, so that's what's happening there towards the beginning of the week, Monday through Thursday. As we move throughout the week on Thursday here, we're gonna have Mars, which is gonna be in your 12th house of your insides here and in opposition with Uranus, which is gonna be in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines and of your health. Sixth house, sixth house also rules health. So towards the end of the week, there could be some unexpected things that come up at your job on the day to day uh, in your practical existence and your health as well that you're then going to have to figure out how to get right with it on the inside, how to feel comfortable with it, uh, with where you are right now and, and what's happening with you and to put it in the right perspective in some way that you're really going to have to work out while you're trying to deal with some money stuff, trying to build more of that stability in your life and trying to do some things that it is that makes you happy. All right, because Mars here is the faster moving planet <laughs> of the two, your, the, your perspective is gonna have to change. You're inside, you're gonna have to get used to doing new things and overcoming some things from the past here in order to integrate this unexpected job opportunity or this unexpected thing that comes in on the day to day, all right? Okay, <laughs> that's going on there. I'm going to erase all this just to make it easier to see some of the other stuff going on towards the end of the week. Now, Scorpio, this is you right here. So you know where your first house is, even though it says eight, this is you. <laughs> 
um, was happening. And towards the end of the week, after the Mars opposite Uranus, we do have Venus, which on Friday is going to move into Sagittarius. So anything that could have been a little bit uncomfortable for you when it comes to your identity, working out your identity in regards to relationships uh, and with money, I think is going to start to get a little bit easier towards the end of the week here with Venus and Sagittarius, where you start to think more seriously here where Sagittarius is and your second house of money. Maybe things start to feel a little bit better for you when it comes to your money and when it comes to your finances, trying to get more comfortable working out some of those issues um, going on there. While that's happening, the sun as well in Sagittarius also going to make a square over to Neptune in your fifth house of happiness here, bringing in some confusion about some financial thing going on, about some money, and about how you can feel happy from it in some way. <laughs> Feeling like maybe you need more income, want more income, or need to get in a better situation financially in some way, but feeling like it can't make you happy here and being confused about that. And I think the message of the square to Neptune coming in at the end of the week is not to like disregard one in favor of the other. Squares indicate things that need to be done together. You need to figure out how to make them both work. And I think what you're going to have to figure out towards the end of the week is how to be happy with some financial situation that it is that you have <laughs> with something going on with your income, uh, with something going on in regards to uh, your confidence to bring more stability into your life in some way. Okay. I, I think that you want to be happy, you want to do things that are really going to be good for you and that you really enjoy. And I think you have to figure out how to do something you enjoy that can bring more stability into your life, that you can make money from, that can use more of your gifts and skills and talents and what it is that you uniquely have to offer that you're going to be trying to figure out again and again and again. I feel like we've been doing this for a while um, at the end of this week. All right, as you're trying to figure some of that out, we also do have the full moon here. Uh, hanging out, which for you is going to be in your eighth house of changes in Gemini. Um, really asking you to understand some big financial investments that you've been making. Maybe there's been a lot of money going out of your pocket. Uh, eighth house normally rules money going out and not money coming in uh, lately. Maybe you've been making lots of changes in your life as well, ending and beginning things uh, in some way too. And I think you're ending that. <laughs> you're ending a time of all of this money leaving your wallet. You're ending this time of crazy changes. I think you want more stability in your life here. You want more income in your life. You want to use more of the gifts and skills and talents that you have that no one else has the way you do here. And I think you got to figure out here um, on Sunday of this week how it is that you can stop making so many changes, so that you can come to terms with all of these changes uh, that you've made in your life and all of these financial investments so that you can really start to, especially at the new moon in Sagittarius at the middle of December, do more things that make you confident, <laughs> bring more of that income to you and really begin to devote yourself to doing some of those things and building more of that stability into your life in some way. Mercury as well, about the same time we have the full moon in Gemini starting to go retrograde here, saying if you're gonna devote yourself to money, to building more stability into your life in some way, really needing to work out a few of the details here, rework some things financially that may not have been right for you so that you can make them right in the future and move forward on it in a much better way if it's something you're really serious about doing, which you should be <laughs> with Saturn there and with the new moon there. Chiron also going to go direct at the end of this week as well. I think helping you to find more of that happiness too uh, coming in and to get on board with some money and some financial situation as well if you feel like it's been dragging you down a little bit. I think Chiron coming direct is going to help you to heal some of that stuff again and to feel better moving forward on it. All right, so that's what I got for you this week. Scorpio, your card here is the five. The five of swords. Re reversed. This is an interesting one. Upright to me. This is normally like a winning at all costs. This is this is either you're the one being the aggressor here. This is like a bunch of like men with swords fighting um, and fighting a bunch of people or people are fighting you. <laughs> Maybe that's what's going on. Trying to get pull the wool over your head, take something from you that you don't want in some way. And I think what's going on this week is that you're figuring out, look, I don't want to fight. I just want to get to the bottom of what's going on here and make things better. And I think that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to stop fighting. You're trying to make Make sure that there's that everything's not so crazy in your life and to bring everything together so that you can create the best outcome, not only for you, but I think for everyone else in a way that is not as chaotic and not as 
cutthroat, perhaps, <laughs> especially with this card, as the way things have been, okay? So I think that's what's going on this week, an opportunity for you to put your swords down, stop fighting here, and get more clarity about what needs to happen for everyone to start working together uh, in a way that's more supportive. All right, so that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this horoscope, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.